to pick up a special special guy and we're going to be fishing with him on an island for a long time but he just arrived right now on the Qantas flight and his fishing rods did not arrive at the same time so I'm not sure what the situation is yet but hopefully another flight will come and then we can pick him up later tonight so we can continue the fishing mission let's go find the secret fisherman <laughs> oh will oh there he is hey bro joe <laughs> that's the secret fisherman we and, got no freaking rods and he's got yeah. no fishing rods that's crazy <laughs> all right we'll come back later hopefully and we'll pick him up tonight i got a bag though you got a big bag <laughs> all right let's get in the car Woo. all right joe and i just landed on this uninhabited tropical island mate this is probably the best spot to set up the tent, nice and flat, but it is a bit of a outlet for rain water. Could be flooding here, but I don't know what's predicted for rain. Anything? I think there's a couple of shitty days. Oh yeah? But like they're just wind, I don't know if there's any rain with it. Yeah, okay. We could probably get a forecast update. But either way, this is pretty nice and flat here. Everything else is fairly dense bush or rocks, so probably set up the tent here let's do it eh get into it and go fishing in this crazy looking island Phew. joe just found a lure halco bin bin bent hooks big gt how bite, is that bite marks on it look at this little clip they're using <laughs> that's crazy that that even handles the bend out of the hook Phew. all right let's go start piling some stuff here eh? I'll do it for an hour. Yeah. Big tent. Big muddy. <sighs> Moving house, eh? <sighs> Some of our water. Australia's finest. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh, not want to kick my toe again. No, watch it. <laughs> Broken toe number two. Right yeah. Now. All our food. We got for, lots of it. For a long time. At least a week on the other one, so we need all this. <laughs> Phew. Oh. There you go, Joe, mate. Here's all the gear. There's a lot there. Go get your tent out. Yeah. Transformer, the tent. tent you, oh, you want to see the tent pop? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> I don't even know what tent you have. It's like so old. I just dug it out of the archive. Yeah. I've got some crazy thing. I'll dig it out for you. So yeah, let's go set up the tent time. You. Hopefully it's in here. Imagine if you don't have a tent. <laughs> it's yeah. in here. It's just buried. Oh, there it is. Please. There's my hammock. Right. It's got a mosquito net I and wish everything. I bought a hammock. Man. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Um, there's your tent. <laughs> Joe's tent. You <laughs> <laughs> get it set up, eh? Let's see if all the bits are in there. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, hopefully it should be good. Is this? Did we use this tent on that? Is this the last time? The last time this tent was used was on. Oh, probably yeah. Right, that was three years ago. Man. But um, not bad, not bad. There's Cab Dog's huge one. That's probably the most expensive tent I've ever bought. It's this crazy like pop-up thing. Oh, I think I put it in a video already with Briggsy and his kids. But yeah, we're gonna pop that one up now. Quick little time lapse of setting our tents up. Wow. 
Saga. Check it out. You? That was pretty instant. You were, you were pretty quick too. Yeah, but you've got instant swagger. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the structure of it, man. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Strong build. Not spotted at all, eh? Nah, not at all. But look how um, how much room is in there. That's massive. Definitely just moved house, like literally onto the island. So we're here for long enough, but we can just say we're moving here. Eh? Pretty much. We are, are you a resident much. of Australia now? Yeah, now, man. Now, man. <laughs> now, like, whether I like it or not, man. Yeah. Is the tide going to come up here, though, Kevin? Um, you've been looking at the tide, eh? I reckon the tire is our tide teller. Yeah. That was a bit of a tongue tongue twister, it's kind of hard to say. Six metre tides, man. Yeah. We should be right. Well, if it doesn't reach tonight, it's not going to reach at all. Nah, that's right, yeah. So after that, new moon, stop. So the currents should be good, then the fish should be on. Swagger style tent has to have a swagger style mattress, hey? Big, big. Oh, it's like a red carpet going into the into the mansion. <laughs> big red carpet. Well, this thing's just gonna self-inflate, then we'll pop her inside. Oh, the magic red velvet carpet, self-inflated. Pop her in the tent. <sighs> Pop her in the tent, no need to pay rent. Living on the beach. Catch a little fish. Oh, there she is. The red carpet. Still plenty of room. <laughs> Took up only half. That's crazy. I don't remember it being this big the first time I used it. Epic. Joe has no pump for his mattress and these things are killer. I'd try to save weight for the flight up here, man. <laughs> You're going to pass out, I'm eh? I'm really re regretting it now, eh? I don't even know if you'll be fishing. You're just going to be passed out here. <laughs> Gassed out. We're going to go in here and open some vents up. Get some airflow. And we can probably see Joe pumping air, though. There he is. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, it's not too hard here anyway. The ground, the ground it's nice and soft. At least you got that. Yeah, well, I've got this, but even without that, it's not too bad. <sighs> That's a view and a half. In the Cavie's Cave, Cavie's luxury beach house. <laughs> Apple, blueberries. Joe had a good idea of keeping ourselves new traded. Is that, is that even a word? <laughs> new traded, nutrient filled. So yeah, we don't burn out quickly. Just set up our tents, as you know, but check them out. Looks good. We got that much food. We don't need to skimp on it, No skimping on food, you reckon? No. Your full camo there, I can't even see it pretty really? much. Yeah. <laughs> Slim shade, man. Slim shady. Alright, got an apple. Eat it. Good one. We are officially in the wild now, eh? You should use that one. We're officially in the wild, eh? For your show. That's Jay Wilds, by the way, if you haven't figured. It's written on his jersey. <laughs> Blueberry time. They're good when they're hard and crunchy, eh? Yeah, I reckon. A little bit of tang to the mouth. Mmm. My one so far have been dope. Got the crunch, mate. Coco crunch. All in life. Oh, well, we just had a pretty wild drone flying experience. <laughs> Joe seemed to love it. You're a madman. 
full madman on the drone, yeah. Ran into that tree behind us like 10 times. But we did get some nice aerial shots of this um, island where we're camping for about 10 days, seven to 10 days, not sure yet. Weather's mint, ocean looks amazing out there. Flew 500 meters up and a K and a half out. So that's pretty far distances right there. And yeah, check out the view. Phew. Joe under the shade. I've got my own little like awning. <laughs> you can come under here if you want. I probably will later, man. Thank yeah. You. Actually, you're pretty good right there, right now, eh? Right here, right now. All right, we're gonna get a fishing gear ready and then chill for a bit longer because it's just absolutely smoking hot out there for sure. Aussie summer. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna hit some of those ledges we spotted on the drone. So yeah, it should be fun. Fun, yeah? Ew. Yeah, fun. <laughs> All right, you. See you later. Alrighty, it's time to put the reels on the rods. Joe's already going. Doing it. Doing it. Let's open the rod case. Cabby's selection of rods. Let's check them out. <sighs> Got them in a hard case. Let's go. I think we're gonna try out. What have we got? That's P10. We're gonna do P8 and probably this one P4. So the P8 and the P4. And we'll probably fish over there somewhere. Joe. See you out there, I'm going. Yeah, see you, mate. Yeah, nah, no lure. Just use the thing that's dangling off your hat. <laughs> you got this full dangleberry hanging off it. You didn't get it, it's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's set these up. You. Boom. Alright, we're gonna put the 8000 Sortiga on the P4 rod. And then we'll put the 14 on the P8. I'd probably normally use maybe a, even a 6,000, but we're expecting... Oh, I mean, I'd love to catch a big mackerel or something on this setup. It'd be sick. If it's small, then it'd be just fun. Big mackerel, sick. Medium GT, epic. Big GT, death. Bit of an artistic display, but we have the 8,000 set up on the P4 rod. The 14,000 on the P8 rod. Check it out. There we are. 14,000. Fishing time, eh? Ninja. Alright, we're heading up and over Casanova, eh? Hey? Hopefully, we find the Casanova of GT. <laughs> See you later, camp. Hopefully it's still there when we get back, Kirby. That's a lot of rope. We could do something with that. Although it's pretty frayed. I'm afraid. Getting there. Looks sick. How slippery is these rocks we're standing on there? Well, if it's not wet, it should be okay. But a wet part would be like, see ya. First hurdle of the trip, eh? Is it even dark? Pearly white. Yeah, I think we just gotta go up there to the top bit and go across. I was hoping it was gonna be an easy run out. Yeah. <laughs> Not the case. Nah. That's kind of... Harsh. Yeah, I think we can get up here. Yeah. A little bit sketch, but should be right. If the rocks don't break, we should be right. Oh. Sweet. We're across, Kevin. Motor across. What's the 
big turtle gonna be hot dog. I don't know, but it looks pretty nice up here. Oh, yeah, right. Beautiful. Oh, that wind. Walk to the edge. Woo. There we go. Not a current though. Nah. But maybe later when the Tire starts pushing back. Rock climbing, eh? Mountaineering. Yeah, that's it. Mountaineering. Maybe we'll try and get out there. So zigzag back that way, I guess. Oh yeah, maybe not. Even just to get down there, we have to go here. Something hanging off that rock just there. Oh, we just got to basically the first spot. Ew. Bit of shade here, real good, eh? Right? Real nice, good. Man. Air shade. Air shade. <laughs> well, we're gonna try and find out a spot, put some lures on, have a cast, eh? Let's get into it. This looks all good, though, don't you think? Oh, yeah, that's steep, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Might not be getting over there. It looks sick, though. It does. I wonder if we're even gonna be able to get across. Like up that other up piece. Up that next ledge, yeah. Because that looks pretty tall, eh? Yeah, boy. We might be stuck in this little zone for a bit. We'll check it out anyways. Looks a bit gnarly over there. Charles Barkley. Gnarly. Let's go. That one looks good. Oh, there's, there's a school or something just there. I'm gonna get the popper into that. Could be Trevally just here, eh? First lure of the trip, first cast. Same color as a mint. Oh yeah, I guess it is mint. Mint to mint. Might be slippery this bit. A little bit. Oh yeah. Go stand on the oysters. Woo. Let's go. I haven't really seen a fish yet. A few weird little reef fish down here and that's about it. Joe's up there. Spotting fish. Or maybe no fish. Well, we haven't caught or seen any fish yet. So I just came up the top to see if I can see. Beautiful. Oh! Oi, oi, oi! Oi! Tuna! Tuna! And we did see, we spotted tuna. They're going left. They're going left really fast. They keep going. Oh, they slowed down. Cast way left to the bombing out there. Yeah, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, one. Oh. Oh! Hey! Oh! <laughs> You're all right. Oh, no. Are you on? Oh! Joe just hooked up. I spotted them swim through here. He's cast a perfect cast. Got hit. And got a tip wrap. Heavy. But yeah, I literally just walked up here and Shuna came past. I keep sitting here for a bit and try and guide Joe onto another fish. I guess this is kind of crazy up here too. One slip. 
and you basically die. So we don't want to slip, that's for sure. Crazy looking cave up there. Maybe you can get there from there. Go back. Yep, good, good, good. Oh no. Yeah, maybe a bit too close. Crazy. Yeah, they, I think they got scared. <laughs> Oh, Woo. <laughs> wow, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> half asleep, did I bang my gear nut, nah. oh yeah, oh, a little one, Woo. what the hell, that's crazy, the cab dog just had a little bit of a slippery slide mate, Any action? Uh, Holy damn, yeah. eh? Yeah. End of the day, we're going back to make some steak, eh? We've got no fish to cook, so we're going to eat some steak. <laughs> yeah, frothing for the steak. Cab dog steakhouse. Ew. All right, see you back at camp. Ew. Smells a bit weird, but should be all right, huh? No. Hey. Oh yeah. I'll have a little bit. This one will be my, it's actually the shape of the bread. <laughs> Made for it more. Yeah, like legit. Boom. There it is. I'll take a bite. Mm. <laughs> actually incredible. Like real. Just what we need man, after a big day catching heaps of fish. <laughs> so many fish, we need the energy, we need the iron. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, tender, like this one? Mm. This one's crazy, tender. A lot, or? Yeah. Woo! Alright. First morning here. Let's try and find some fish today. I think I saw a big blow up before. Right there. Yeah, first thing is first. Poo time. <laughs> All right, the morning poo was a success. Basically pooed out a whole new planet. Planet poo pita. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get ready and go for a fish, mate. How's all these sea slugs down here? Yeah. 
Coffee, mate. Cabby's coffee. There's Joe's over here. Joe's coffee. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Morning. View. And the morning view. How's that sunrise this morning, man? Looking straight out our tents. Mm. Hey. Very mint. Your tent's just open. Yeah. Mozzie's going to be living in there. Yeah, but the heat of the day today, they're not going to survive there. They'll come out, though. Yeah. All right, we're going to drink this and then get prepped. Go fishing. Well, pretty much prepped already. Probably back over there and hopefully there's current or an early fish. That's for sure. Mission. We just have to figure it out as we go. Phew. I'll go over here then. Wow. Slippery slide. <clears throat> Woo. Oh. Ice skating. Literally ice skating. Oh. Barnacles, that's grippy. Let's go. First car, eh? Si. Let's go. Just three. Go. Three, two, one. Phew. Oh. Oh! 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 Hit it! Hit it! Oh, come on! Oh! What was that? Three misses! I don't know! Again! Yeah! Oh! What? That's crazy! Oh! Big GT! Wow! Huge! What the hell? Come on! Big GT! Every one of them missed! Oh! Just here. Oh. Oh, right there. Oh. Oh. Eat it. Eat it. What? You're kidding me. So many strikes, but couldn't keep one. That many hits and just n commitment issues, ah. Oh. The GT here have commitment issues. Just couldn't get a proper hook up, so I'm gonna change battery on the GoPro and get back out there.
Oh, what? Woo! It's a long tail. Beautiful tuna! Oh, you're right, you're right. Phew. Yeah, Kevin. So, <laughs> I was expecting a GT, so I was like, setting the hook as a tuna. They're a beautiful fish. Oh, I'll land into you then. Yeah, I'm going to run through here. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Got a rock on yeah, yeah, tiny little one. Nice. Sack boat. Phew. Oh. First fish of the trip. Cool thing to get a long tail. Been years. And we did it. Thought it was a GT. But yeah, we're going to get this lure out quickly and game back. Phew. Yeah. yeah. He's off. Yeah, he's good. Good? Yeah. Whew. He come up sideways, but then he corrected and Yeah, corrected. yeah. He's getting his breath back. Yeah. I feel like it's up to the eye. He looked like it too. Oh, that was sick. Tuna. Cheers, mate. Yeah, bro. Yeah, thanks for your help. All good. Camera turned off, got too hot. But yeah. Whew. First time using this wall on the rocks. Did well. Alright, let's get back out there. Should be more tuna. And there was lots of GT in the start. We both had hits with no hookup. Let's go again. Whew. We're gonna get back down there. Joe just had a, an attack. Gonna go down the slippery slide. Lots of water moving now, eh? Yeah, it looks real good down there. See that swell? Yeah, I looked up, I saw heaps. Like big swell. The water's moving so fast, though. All right, no action on that second round, but there's a lot of water moving. There we go, fish off that high rock there. I've seen a bit of bait getting attacked, so you never know. We'll see how we go, yeah? Phew. Let's go. Well, I've perched myself up here. Have a bit of a chill, eat an orange. And we can watch Joe down there, popping. And maybe we can spot some fish. We can yell out if something comes. Cast, cast, cast. See if he gets one, but yeah. Just gonna chill at this orange. And watch from the viewpoint, beautiful spot.
We're gonna go for a walk to the very top and then we'll have a look down. See if we can get to the other spot over the hill. Looks way better over there, so I hope we can fish it later. Oh, how's this cave? Oh, what? Look at that. No way. That's incredible. Phew. Sick cave. And how's the view down there? Amazing. You can probably sleep up here. Ah, that's sick. Oh, we're gonna keep walking, get to the top. Walking, I mean climbing. <laughs> Full rock climb up here. Oh, we're gonna leave the rod here. Try and climb up this. If it's possible, I don't know. Not much to really hold on to, eh? Well, actually, nothing to hold on to. I don't think we can even get up there. Gonna have to find another way. We'll put the rod back in this cave. We'll try and climb up here. That's kind of sketchy, eh? If I fall, I'll get real pumped. But we might be right. We're up. Almost up. Wow. This is crazy. Another cave. Oh. Oh, what? How go oh. You're kidding me. Look at that. Woo. I'm guaranteed no one's been here. That is insane. How is this? That's actually crazy. What a spot. Rock climbing, mate. Look at that view. Look at the water. That rock out there, that's where we want to get to. I don't know if it's possible or not. That's why we're here, because we're going to try and keep climbing up to the very top and see if we can get down over there. So good. Ha <laughs> ha. keep going to the top I don't want to walk over that bit so we're gonna go up there it's crazy here we are amazing view oh how good is that that rock we need to get to that rock Joe's over there. Can't even hear me. Yo! <laughs> I must be that far away, he can't even hear me. Oh, we're gonna see if we can see some fish anyway. But that is where we want to fish from, for sure. That's fully hollow. I don't want to like break through that and then just fall down a thousand meter hole and never get out. But we are at, now we're pretty much at the top of the top. Well, the top of the top is actually there. There's so many different levels here, but we may as well go to the top of the top. Let's go. What a spot. It's full. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Look at that eagle. It's massive. Imagine if there was like crayfish or something. That'd be sick. Oh, I'm so stoked I came up here. Look at this. Oh, you're kidding me. 
Eagles everywhere. What? That is incredible. Woo! What a view. Oh. I think I just saw fish in the bay too. Oh, I gotta get some energy back so we can actually go fishing. So here we are at the peak of a mountain. 360 view of this island. And it looks absolutely stunning. How good is that? And the air is fresh and cool and I'm feeling good. Now let's go fishing. <laughs> you. Well, there we have some sort of a skeleton. Either a snake or an eel. That's crazy. That's actually pretty steep getting down. But I have a feeling that's where I came from. That little tree down there. One slip could be complete death. Don't want to fall. Yeah, there's the cave there, I think. Yeah, I just got to try and climb down from here. Is that right? Yep. I think we have it. You success. We made it. We gotta see Joe. Any fish? Did you catch it? Did you get it? Oh no why? Huge Napoleon Ross down here he says. If he if he caught a Napoleon Ross that'd be incredible. We need to get down there. And then I want to go and eat. I'm so hungry. Final stage. Ah, oh, we made it back. What a time. So thirsty. Mmm. Might just be a turtle. Right. Definitely a turtle. Right here. The colour is crazy, eh? Yeah. Are you gonna run? Yeah, I think so. Might as well. Check all the zippers. Lock up the chest strap. We're going in for a swim. Woo! Woo! Oh, it's pretty beautiful. So drop it away. Uh, very slippery rocks. Might go over there. Phew. There's our camp, we're going there. Oh bro! Oh. <laughs> I just saw a Yeti in the bush and then it fell over and the Yeti ended up being Joe. I don't even know why he's coming out the bush. I guess he's a wild man, Jay Wilds, but I just came down the bottom and he's up through the bush, but that was psycho. You all good? Oh, <laughs> woo! I think there's ants all over him. Psycho dude, <laughs> oh no! He's getting attacked by wild ants. They're the green ones. I feel bad. Okay, we're gonna turn the camera off. 
Oh, you totally should have swam. Where are they? Oh man, yeah. Oh, what the? Are these just a few of them left? I had hundreds, man. You're eating them. What's it taste like? They're kind of a bit sour, right? Eh? Are they? I've yeah. never actually eaten one, but you've got so many trying to bite you here. It was like a here, eat one. The first one I ate was like a, a tangy fruit, like a real tangy yeah. lolly. Because I have had one a long time ago. But these ones aren't really. They're not tangy. No. It probably depends what trees are around, but you got that many on you, bro. You should have seen before. I was caked in them. Oh, you must have been <laughs> through. Oh, it's on your head and stuff. You're all down my shirt now. I've got shivers looking at you. Let's go back to camp. They're seriously everywhere. Yeah. I slipped over and smoke the rocks. I saw the slip. I just started filming when you fell over. <laughs> True. I was like, oh, I was going to say, oh, there's a Yeti in the bush. But before I even said that, you went, you're boom. <laughs> I was in the ants' nest, man. I saw them too late. I saw them and then they were just everywhere all over. Yeah, I can't believe it. Even there's still so many on you. That's gnarly. Yeah, they don't like leave any sting, but they do bite, give you a harsh little bite though. Yeah, it's a little spike, but it's not like a sting. Yeah, nah. So, nah. <laughs> right. Alright, let's go back to our camp. Um, Joe got attacked by ants, as you just saw. Really crazy. Gonna eat some food. Get re-energized. And rejuvenated. To get back over the mountain and fish this crazy rock. So yeah, let's eat. I didn't finish my coffee. Let's see if it's still hot. Should be, should be really hot. Just like before. Beautiful. Well, I mean it was in the sun as well. <laughs> so 50-50. 50 from the bottle, 50 from the sun. Yeah. She show me your leg. Oh yeah, you got a little bit of blood there and you got one Eat it. sucker. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, I've squashed the eating part already, just taking him. Oh yeah, you got, they're that man, you're on you bro. So, <laughs> I just want to do a little talk. Basically we got dropped off here. We didn't, no one's ever fished here that we know of. Didn't know if it was going to be easy or hard. Turns out it's really hard <laughs> to get to these spots. We are only fishing close to camp. But the two main spots we wanted to fish, one is like outright impossible unless we have like abseiling gear, which we don't have that. Even if you had that, I reckon it'd probably be impossible. So you just walk through an ant's nest and that was only one little part. You'd be going through yeah. a mile of more of that stuff and up and down crazy rocks probably falling and yeah, that could be the end of it. So. But we can get, I think, to another rock, which I just walked up the top before and we filmed that. So yeah, that's a, that's a thing we're um, dealing with. There's hard to fish spots and dropped here for a week. So that's a um, bit of a bummer, but we just have to now and take it on the chin and endure that we're not in for an easy trip and just go hard. Isn't that right? <laughs> He's <just> eating ants. <laughs> That's right. That's right, bro. No, right. seriously, though. That's exactly the situation. Basically, it. real hard spots to fish. But, um, yeah. All right. So, we're going to, as I said before, we're going to eat something, drink, and then get amped up to go for a very crazy mission past those caves. So, yeah. Catch you guys in a minute. All right. This is my lunch setup. Some brown rice and quinoa thing. I'm going to put that on some multi-grain bread. We have a golden kiwi fruit and some protein powder. It says weight loss, but I think they just call it rapid loss as a bait of a thing. It's still um, just baiting people to buy it as a marketing strategy. But um, put that in some water and then we'll go protein shake. But actually to elaborate on that, it's because they expect people to use this as a meal replacement, not an addition, like we're just using it to add protein to already our meals. But most people will replace their meals to have that and that's obviously why you're going to lose weight because you're not actually eating and you're just drinking that. So yeah, marketing strategy 101. Here's my first little sandwich, roll her up. 
Cheers. Butterfly just flew past. Big one. Mackerel later. Bag <laughs> Let's go, Kiwi. Yeah, that's sharp, that knife. We'll have a good Kiwi for it. I think it's made for right-handed. Because when you push it, it wants to come back. Wow. Super nice. Have you ever eaten the skins? Yeah. I like the skin actually, but I find it gives me an itchy bum, <laughs> like legit. Actual? Yeah, not even joking. Mm. Um, after all the talk about it with other people, them tripping out on it, I tested it again with the, the these ones. They're not even that fluffy. That's weird. And yep, sure enough. <laughs> so if you eat the skin, you get an itchy bum. <laughs> Kiwi. Alright, let's open her up. Five star health, health rating. <laughs> Duh, is there a little spoon thing? Oh yeah, oh, it smells actually really good. They give you a big scoop. <laughs> it's massive. Oh, I've got the water. That's what it says on here. Yeah, meal replacement. Just add water. It's got 25 vitamins, minerals, 30 grams of whey. Protein. Scoop is so big, this bottle's actually got a huge opening, but this doesn't even fit. Oh, Ripper. Joe the Ripper. Joe the Ripper. Now we got a scoop and a half. I reckon we're gonna run two scoops. Oh, yeah. Oh, I may as well, eh? Lid on. Let's get the sand away. Big shake. Give it a test. That's actually amazing. It actually tastes really good. Honestly, it's amazing. Good idea, Joe. Yeah. To get the protein powder. I didn't even think of it. It's just a good way we, you know, we got no ice, eh? Have you told them we got no ice so we don't have mm. heaps of meat and stuff? Yeah, no ice in the esky. No room for ice anyway. Boom! Look at that for ants. Oh! I literally put my finger on there for a second. There's so many. Wow! <laughs> Gonna sip a coffee in the hammock. Oh, I just set this hammock up before. I chill in it. Oh, beautiful. We'll have a sip of coffee too. Mmm. That's nice. Good to get the weight off the legs. Oh, that's good. Nice breeze here too. Beautiful. Rock a bye. Have a sleep. Goodbye. Check it out. Look at the sky. Alrighty, it's time to leave camp and we're going to go over that mountain to the top to a new fishing spot. Pray that it's gonna be good fishing. Look at Joe. You ready, Joe? Pretty much, bro. <laughs> I check my food in, then I'm good. So he does. All right, see you on the mountain. This seems to be the best way. There's a, a good grip up here. Once you get to the top bit. You good? Yeah, I'm good. That's psycho, eh? So that rock out there is our end goal. We just gotta follow some of these pathways. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that was gnarly. <laughs> yeah, careful. It's very steep but grippy, so it should be sweet. Oh, this could get slippery on the way back if there's water on it. That was crazy. So we got to the first fishing spot. Well, we walked past other potential fishing spots that we couldn't actually get to. So now we're here. Just bring jo um, Joe's gear up and we're gonna set up and go fishing. First time fish testing this lure. Swim test done, fish test hopefully about to be done. Let's do it. Was that a boil right when I landed? Oh! We're getting hit. Something coming. I think when I actually landed was a fish as well. Well, this spot hasn't been as wild as we thought it would be. <laughs> he had some um, good action there for a bit. No, still no GTs yet. The sun's just about to come down behind that mountain. So we're probably going to pack up, do some mountaineering back and fish maybe a few spots before the sun goes down closer to camp so we know we can get back before dark. Um, could be a mission getting back so yeah that's the plan. We're going up there. I don't know if this is slippery or not. It looks like it could be pitching Yeah but it's actually so grippy. Oh, we're gonna hit that ledge. Looks really nice. Hopefully the banger is there. Big banger. Oh, turtle. Nice. No, I don't know what that is. Something over there. Yeah. This, this could be good. Could be on here, Kevin. There we are. Next spot. Pretty good spot to land too, man. We just washed them up there. Yeah, I reckon it looks nice here. That was crazy. Airborne mackerel. Oh, he's hit the lure a little bit. Teeth marks. I was just thinking how good it would be to get an airborne strike from a mackerel this trip. And boom, we had it. Right there. Come on. Alright, this is going to be my last cast. Lucky last. Come on. Big one. Right here, right here. Right here. Not there. Oh, we got to pack up and get back. Oh, I'm going to be honest and say I expected a bit more action at this spot because it looks absolutely crazy. But in reality, the current has only really started pumping. We did get a huge air strike from a massive mackerel. So that was really cool. And that should be on video um, on my head cam and the stationary camera there. But yeah, we're going to start mountaineering our way back. Continue. Continue our mountaineering on the way back, I should say. There's Joe down there. But yeah, big trip back. Let's go. The colours are actually incredible, eh? That's like the rainbow serpent right there, I reckon. Aboriginal story time. Real cool story. Actually, I actually remember that back in, back in school, mate. Look at the angle Joe is going on. Look at the angle we're going on. It's 
It's pretty hectic, man. I'll see if I can get it. It's like, it's actual vertical, pretty much. That's rad! Phew! Oh, 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 oh. oh, we reached the summit, eh? This is the summit. Coming down for us, yeah. Big eagle. Bang, oh, <laughs> it, bah, yeah, come and eat us. It's um probably the last bit of light for the GoPro. So um, see you guys back at camp, I guess. <laughs> if we make it, maybe I'll film a bit of eating dinner. I don't know. Who knows? We don't know what's gonna happen when we get back. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> All right, Joe's cooking some um, pesto rice with tuna. We've got an egg here. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut open an avocado. So surprised at how sharp this knife is. Oh, it's mint. Oh, I almost cut my finger off. <laughs> Sweet. Salt with juice, but it tastes like the saltiest thing ever. <laughs> like for real. Are you good with yours? I can fork it with this one. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't even need to spoon it. <laughs> there it is. What do we say? Thanks to the the fresh air, the salt water. And the eagle in the sky. <laughs> Thanks to the fish that are gonna hit our lures tomorrow. Dig in. Yum. It's actually really good. I've got an avocado on mine. Hmm. Right now you'd be dripping out if you saw the bruise bits on. <laughs> Pesto goes good with everything, eh? Yeah. And that's our dinner. You. Alrighty, that was a big day today. Just got in the tent. Joe's in the other tent over there somewhere. Probably big. What do you call him? Yowie. Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Big Sasquatch is gonna come tonight and get Joe. <laughs> so tomorrow's our second full day, and we had some good action this morning. We didn't hook all the fish. If we had a hooked all the fish, it would have been a pretty epic day. So hopefully tomorrow we can actually get those hookups. But yeah, go and get some Z's. See you guys in the morning, eh? So yeah, have a good one. You. Yeah, good. Did you? Good morning. Oh, <laughs> I pretty much burnt my mouth straight away. It's, um, what is it? Third day. Third full day. Oh, third second, day. Second full second day. Full day. <laughs> Morning coffee and then get our bags ready. Try to spot one. Saw it's, heaps of fish that you said, GTs. Yeah, lots of action, just didn't get the hookup. So we're going to try and get the hookups this morning. See you on the ledge. <laughs> Check it out. Phew. Good morning. <laughs> oh, we are on the ledge. Hopefully for those bangers to come and eat our lures. Absolutely frothy. Water looks good. A little chopped up. Fishy, fishy. Let's go. Flying mackerel attack on this lure yesterday afternoon. You can see there's a big tooth bite out of it. Get a hook up today. Check the knot. 
Pretty good. Ready? Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Three, two, one, cast. Yeah, I didn't do the popper. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh. oh. Didn't see it, I. Another miss, miss hit. Yeah. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, set the hook, bro. And it looked like he set the hook perfectly, too. Ray fish. That looks decent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh! Come on. Very small fish. Oh, yeah. But a fish. Did you see what it was? Nah. <laughs> but I'm on. Still, it's kicking like crazy. I'm assuming it's a tuna. Oh, yeah. It's a small one. Oh, here we go. Oh, what? Oh, it's a Spanish. Baby one. You want me to land it or are you good? I'm good if you want to keep fishing. Okay. Phew! Oh, he's going alright now. Beautiful fish. Come on. Nice, perfect little rock pool for this guy. Oh, crazy. Beautiful little Spanish mackerel. Oh, it's going crazy. All right, we're going to get that lure out and get him back in. They go crazy here. Ew. Beautiful little Spanish. Let's go, mate. There he is. Oh, chilled. He's gone. Phew. Forgot how slimy they are. All right, nice little Spanish. I think Joe had one on before. Probably a little bit bigger than that one. But yeah, we got him back nice and healthy. Swam off in here. Let's get back out there, try and get something bigger now. But stoked to get a fish of the morning. Um, yeah, epic. So yeah, let's keep going. Not super enjoyable. Well, first fish on this lot. Yesterday we had a mackerel also air strike this um, lure. So it was good to finally get one. Yeah, let's get back out there, eh? Every day we go to the skate park. Oh, we're gonna head over the mountain, change spot. It's gone pretty quiet just here. Not a lot happening. Just those first few bit of action as the sun's coming up, which is pretty much normal. Always get something straight up, but there's not really anything going on in the last 30 minutes, so. Oh, yeah. There hasn't really been anything going on recently, so we're gonna try and climb over this mountain. Let's go. Ooh. How's the steepness, eh? So steep. Woo! Well, I'm falling, you're done. <laughs> For real. Ah. 
I'm gonna try and run. Danger. You gotta have good ankles and knees for this, eh? Yeah, <laughs> this is like a full seat in here. You. All right, we're gonna head to the spot. When we get down there, turn the camera back on. Hopefully with a fish on too, eh? You. All right, here we are. We made it to the ledge. There was a turtle there to greet us. Teenage mutant near. Oh, the birds. You. Turtles everywhere. Hopefully there's GT everywhere. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Pop, pop, boom. Stick bait time for me, I reckon. So slippery, eh? Backtracking. Yeah, you guys can't see how slippery this actually is. Or feel it anyway. You can see it, but not really getting the full feeling of this. It's crazy. Turtle! Yeah, it's a turtle! Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, oh drop them! Wow, that was a Spanish! The yeah, it's a Spanish mackerel! Yeah. That was a big one too! Oh, yeah, that felt big, that one! Yeah, it was a pretty big hole! Yeah, he was pulling drag on GT drag. Yeah. Heavy. Maybe it was just on the end. Oh. Don't know what he had. Oh, big shark. Right there, look. Oh, wow. Right here, bro. It, lo it looked up at this. Yeah. That's so big. Oh, oh, you could not get a better car. <laughs> so did I, but I left it and I was like, nah, it might be right. That was crazy. I took a chunk out of my lure. Oh. Look at that. Oh. I'm gonna have a break. Oh. Eat an apple, I think. Well, I'm having a bit of an apple break. Watching Joe from up here. Seen a few tuna bust ups. I rigged up a cavy jig. We're going to try and cast that in a minute. Get some tuna. Big treble on the back for if a Spanish hits. But that should be fun. Give that a go, eh? Oh, what? That's cool. There's a blue one and a red one. Huge parrotfish here. Blue one and a red one. So colourful. Alright, it's been pretty slow here. Yeah, we only saw one GT here, not really much happening, so we're going to go over to the GT hole, apparently, <laughs> and see what we can see there. Also, can't really fish here anymore because it's just so slippery and the tide's coming in still, so yeah, we'll go check it out. Hopefully it's good. There's Joe way over there, coming. That's what we're going to check out here. There's definitely more current here than there. There's nothing where we were at all. <laughs> Big turtle. So many turtles here. Yeah, it looks good here. Oh, there is a lot of bait down there. A real lot of bait. Yeah, this looks worth going down. Oh, it's kind of underwater though. 
We might be able to fish it from um from nowhere. <laughs> might be able to cast them up here, but I don't know if we can land a fish. Or well, we might be able to. You could cast here. Try. Pull the fish up there, then land it in this rock pool thing. That'd be crazy, but possible. Just climbing up to check the other side. See if we can get down somewhere to fish. This bay looks so beautiful. It's a tropo as. Can probably get down there. I think the reality is from here is impossible to fish properly. If you hook a big fish, you're probably not going to be able to land it anywhere. Where's Joe? But yeah, this is a no-go, I reckon. Still just want to put the lure in just to see what happens. <laughs> I can't resist temptation, so I'm going to have a cast. This could be absolutely crazy. Super psycho, probably, actually. If we get any fish here, I'm probably going to get pulled in. Just want to see if we can see anything. Don't even want to hook it in the shallows. Try and get something small. Reefy. Oh. Yep. Yep. Oh, bro. Oh, bro! Get it, get it! Huge Maui wrasse! Just went to eat this cop. Big coal trout! Massive coal trout! Huge Maui wrasse! Wow! Woo! I think this coal trout is pregnant. I would keep that to eat, but I'm pretty sure it's pregnant, so we're going to release. How's that Maui wrasse? <laughs> Oi, monster Maui wrasse in here, bro. It was, it was trying to eat the cold trout. Maybe one more cast up here and then change battery. Ugh. Well, Joe had first-hand experience with the GT hole. <laughs> Far out, man. And then we're just standing up the top here, and you can see there's this pooling up of, like, thousands of fusies just there. It's absolutely crazy. But we're going to try and fish from this flat bit. Up high, just skip it. If we do get a big one, we can actually jump across and then do a little swim release in the hole, I guess. We literally could get in, get in there and land today. Yeah, you could. I'm going to retie the heavy. Yeah. Show the guys this. The shredded. Yeah, you got ab absolutely shredded. 200 pounds. Yeah, he swam at you and went, yeah, out and down and got you. Smart fish. Yeah, man. Then swam past you with the lure in its mouth, laughing at you, eh? Hey? Hopefully he's throwing that lure already. Oh, I reckon. All right, let's get down there. Oh, that's deep hole. Yeah. I looked at that one. You don't want to fall down that, eh? Oh, something just spooked them. Wild. Boy, that, that thing's a monster. I honestly don't even know if I could land that from here. I don't know, man. It'd probably reef me. And with this lure. There's about a 50, it's about 50 kilo, that one, huh? At minimum 40. Minimum 40 black GT sitting under the bait. And there's another 20 kilo one swimming around somewhere. Yeah. He came on. Even just if we see the strike. No, you gotta land it. <laughs> you gotta land it. Got really? 60% battery. Oh, this is hectic. Standing on a cliff. And we're gonna go for this monster GT. Oh, there's the other one. 
Oh, I got pretty tight drag. I have a feeling the power of that. Oh, something scared it, a mackerel scared it. It's just going to go that way and get reefed. If he comes this way towards the current, I can try and keep him up. Swimming right there. What one should we go oh, for the no, huge? I reckon the closest one. Oh, there's one. another one at the back. I think it looks very big. See the school of bait. <laughs> Am I going? Do it, bro. Do it? Go, go, <laughs> this is heavy. <laughs> It probably is going to miss the lure, and that's it. I do reckon try to draw them in. Yeah. I'll see where the lure goes. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh no, no, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm going to go into the bait a bit and bring him back. Yeah. Well, look at that close one there. That big silvery. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, Kevin. Go, bro. Oh, go, bro. You seen it? Oh! Yeah, boy! Oh! Got the silver one! You seen it? Oh! Yeah, boy! Oh, got the silver one! Bro! Look how big that black one is, bro! Oh, oh my god! god. Why does that always happen? Oh, oh my god! He's huge, that one! It's at least double the size of the one. Yeah, at one. least. This Brutal, one's. Baby. This one's not even really anything at the moment. Oh! oh bro, why? Why does a small one always hit? Oh my gosh! It's a bit that's very... Oh, here we go. That other one is huge. Yeah. Huge. Wow. I think we got him. I fully think we got him there. Oh, something just came... A bait came out of this GT's mouth. Oh, oh no, wait. That's oh, kind of hectic. He's gonna get you. He might. <laughs> he's trying. I'm gonna get that big black one next time. Yeah. 100% we we'll try to get that other one. When he's tired, I'll go down. Oh, belly hooks. Is it? Crazy. Oh, oh off, oh. off. That's all right, that's all right. I reckon that's fine. Oh, oh dude. Dude, did you see the size of that black GT? That would be another level of fish. That, how big is that? Late 40s? I don't know. Oh, that was over 50, I reckon. That thing was huge, bro. That one I had was about 18, 15, 18. Alright, is that your turn? <laughs> yeah, you can go if you want. I yeah, yeah, retire, you go. Oh, okay. And then you're in. That was crazy. Oh, that was I'm actually kind of stoked that that one popped off because it's a big one. We're going to have to expend all our energy in landing or catching, landing, and then releasing. And that, that one is the biggest thing. There's some huge ones out there, bro. Oh. Real quick. Okay. Wow. Woo. That oh. Was, that's one of the coolest things I've seen, man. Yeah. yeah. So sick. That was sick. And it always happens. The small, faster one hits first. Well, not always happens, but a lot of the time it happens. Even saying that, though, dude. Boy. The one you got wasn't little. Nah. Decent. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of happy it popped off, but but yeah, Joe's gonna rig up after getting reefed <laughs> but he's gonna rig up have a good chance up here good fighting position to land that very very big black one that's just absolutely crazy i think there's a couple of big black ones out there now but yeah whoo crazy i'm ready <laughs> i'm filming eh? yeah you're on you've been recording for 30 seconds give it a go Do that, are you ready yeah i'll go way past it Oh, they, oh you're, you're in line for the... There's two black ones to choose from now anyway. Here we go, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is hectic. Oh! Bro, bro, bro. Oh! Oh! What? Slow down, slow, stop. Oi, look how many. Oh, br bring it back in quickly, quickly, bro. Oh, you're just gonna No, bite. no, you're right, you're right. You're just yeah, yeah, but just drop it in here. Yeah, here we go. Tweak, tweak, tweak. He's going to hit, oh, sure jigging from a cliff for GT. <laughs> for dinosaurs, actually. Oh, monster long time has jumped in. 
to get the bite then. Oh. Oh, I'm getting hit, bro. I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm getting hit. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm on. No way. Oh, dude, there's something massive down there too, but I'm on something really big as well. Oh, dude, it's actually decent. What is it? Can we see the hook out? Oh, bro, what is that? Don't know, but it's real deep and something massive swam past over there. This is a banger. It might be a banger. I think it is. Oh, it is a banger. Oh, no, no. What is it? Don't know. I've never caught one. It's a golden trevally. Oh. Very big golden trevally. It's a cold trap. Oh. Bro, look at the GT. Whoa. Oh, bro. Wow. Oh, my God. I can't believe I got a golden trevally. Okay. Yes, we did it. No, 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 here yeah, I got a wave coming. Wow! Ew! Yeah, boy! Oh! There's a rock pool here. Is there? Yeah. Should I lift him up? Bro, yeah, he, he might pull out, he might pull out, man. He's really I not hot. Towel, yeah, do that. It's super, super, super slippery. <laughs> <sighs> Big man! Beautiful fish! <laughs> is that a golden trevally? Or a gold spot? Gold spot, is it? Maybe. Very big one. Ha oh, <laughs> ha Cliff fishing! Look, that fought really hard. I was like, this is something special. Everything was going on, but yeah, let's get a quick hold up. Beautiful gold spot, I think it is. On the cabbie jig. We're going to get the jig out though, get him back in. He had a tough fight then. Yeah, we want a healthy, healthy release. But that's sick. Woo! Yeah! How good's that? We're going to go for a little slide, mate. I think. Oh, actually, that's too psycho, eh? Oh, am, am I, should I slide down? Okay. I'm going to get really cut. Woo! <laughs> 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 Alright, don't kick out my hands. Oh, man. Beautiful spot here. That, funny? that was funny, man. I think I was filming. <sighs> Alright, water release. Woo! Let's go. That was right. Big shark coming or all good? Yeah, totally. Right, there's a lot of Spanish mackerel going around. Oh, Rob yeah. Lost, Rob lost and he's the oh yeah. Oh! Oh! Spanish! He came up for it, eh? He's there. I'll do a deeper one this time. Oh, oh yeah, I'm. Oh. oh! That was sick! He totally went for it. Way more aggressive than the GTs. <laughs> yeah. You'll get a hook up now. I think he bailed after that hook, maybe. I might do one more. Okay. Yeah. Lucky last. 
Oh, I was on the rocks. Oh, wow. Oi, bro, did you see that? Big Spanish? Yeah, massive. It took off though. It just, it got scared from something. How? Probably saw that big black thing. It was so big. I looked down and I saw it. I think we saw it. Yeah, it was out, it was out the back. Like oh, a yeah. huge one. The biggest one I've seen the whole trip. What did he get scared from? I was just about to wind in and cast at him. Coming home. Yeah, well that was a crazy little session. Um, we're both pretty burnt out. Not much water left. So we're gonna pack up our stuff and then start trekking back over the mountain. And then who knows what's gonna happen next. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys back at camp unless something crazy happens on the way and the current over there does look really really we good. We have to have a spin as we go. Yeah, back. we'll have a spin when we head back so we'll see what happens next, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Later. Oh they're big eye. Eh? Still see the man. Crazy. Yeah. Very two, a huge oh, silver one. One more cast. Bro, I think I think we have to. I've got my bag on and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so hard to leave a spot when you when you can see them. They, they're looking active. All right, have you got film? Is this filming? Yeah, you're on. Let's go. I'm going right over top of it. Guys. Oh, you're kidding me! Oh, oh dope, bro. That long tom! That was huge, bro. What's with the GTs though, eh? Right? Just dove straight down, they're turned off. He turned on and then he's like, oh nah. <laughs> nah, let's, let's have it in. They kind of shut down. Let's go back. Everything and there, anything and everything. <laughs> These rock formations are so cool though. Oh, there's fish swimming to the right. Can you see that? What is that? Turno, I think. Do you want to have a look at the cave from the bottom? I might check it out. This is crazy. Woo! I don't think I'm game enough to make that walk. One slip. It's all over. We'll go back. Even this is crazy. Nah. Oh. Fail. Might go have to go there. Ooh. Tropo, eh? Wow. Woo. How's this, eh? Living. This is living. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're pretty close to camp now. Gonna go back, do some camp stuff, and then our goal is to try and catch a fish in this bay area for cooking. So that's our challenge. Catch and cook challenge of fish. So let's go. Check the straps, eh? All good. You ready for your swim? Yeah, I'm just taking off some stuff. Slippery dippery. Oh, beautiful. My pocket's empty, yep. Yeah. Woo! Beautiful. Oh, this bag keeps me hella floating. Like, right, look at that, I'm so far above water. Yeah. <laughs> if you fell, if you, like, if your boat sunk and you had this backpack, you could just chill, eh? My one's got a little blood up valve on the top so you can inflate it there. Even more. Well, I guess oh yeah, 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 like a one-way valve. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You'll fill it out. Yeah, I think so. Are you? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> 13. <laughs> Feels so nice in there. Are you? Turtle behind us. 
Hey? There's a turtle right there. Oh. It was like checking out what we're doing. <sighs> no crocodiles here anyway. Well, I don't think so. We'll find out. <laughs> Big croc. Imagine that. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'll save ya. Whatever. I'll come back. <laughs> Alright, it's so slippery just here. Oh! Crab. Oh, shark. Shark, shark, shark. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful for it right now. Alright, see you back at camp. Oh, we made it back. You. Stoked. Now it's time to. Refresh. I'm going to swim, man. Going straight in. Uh, I drink the rest of the coffee I didn't drink this morning. Like I said, back to the coffee. Still warm? Yeah, still hot. <laughs> oh, right. Amazing. Let's go. Ugh. Just going to chill. My mansion on the beach. <laughs> Joe's going in for a swim, I think. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have a little refresh. This is the start of it. Might jump in the water too, eh? Have a little snorkel around. Actually, I'm keen for the low tide though. And then yeah. can actually walk out to these bombies. And we might, we might, the low tide? might find a cray, hey? Have we missed the low nah. tide? It's still going out, eh? Yeah, it's still going out. No, we haven't missed the low. So when it goes low, we might be finding some crayfish. That'd be sick. Mm. All right, let's go. Ew. All right, gonna cut over from this avocado. Is that what you call it? The avocado, yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. A few little brown spots on this one. Just got to dig out the nice bits. I don't really like the brown bits, that's for sure. There we have it. The avocado. And bread. Put some salt and pepper on it. And then some chicken and rice. Salt. Chicken, quinoa and brown rice. That's gonna be our lunch. Sandwich it together. There it is. Hungry. Really good with the avocado. Is it? Yeah. Cheers. We're gonna make a sandwich. Basically exactly the same as what Tavi just made over on his channel. <laughs> well, I haven't used the um, P4 rod and the 8000 Sortega for a while. I've just been going heavy, heavy, heavy. But, um,. <laughs> <laughs> but um, beak out. <laughs> That's hectic, eh? But well, we're heading back out for the Arvo session. Hopefully, we get a dinner food. And Joe really, really, really wants to get a long tom. Yeah. He's never got one before. Six footer. There was a six footer, five, six footer when we we're walking back along the ledge this um after the morning session. So he could probably get that. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna cast a lure in the air. See the mackerel strike it, yeah. Catch it, land it, cut it up, put it in some soup. Yeah, we got dinner, yo. Where's your rods, bro? I think they've been washed away into the sea. Let's go, make a video of you and me catching fish from the sea. <laughs> that looks like a, a claw and a foot dinosaur, yeah. Alrighty, these, that rock, one over there, and one here is probably what we're going to be fishing this evening and rotating. And hopefully we're catching a few fish and they're big. Alright, P4, got a little bit of repercharge in him and we're going to try and catch some dinner food. I've got the cavi Salty Passion 115 floating, so 115F. Let's... Oh, this setup feels so much lighter than the PE8, hey? Yeah. 
it's so nice. Oh yeah. We've got a real good little pet micro Yeah. Well, let's get a edible fish. Big one, Tom. I know, we'll probably end up hooking the big GTs on these setups. Holy! Oh, oh. Are those lemonies aggressive or what? Yeah, I've heard of the biting people. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's pretty decent size. Yeah, it's a big size. Oh! Oh, bro! Oh, bro. What are oh am I filming? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're filming. Oi, bro, I don't know what this is. I can't go too hard, though. The red light flashing anyway on that GoPro. Yeah, we'll check again quickly. Oh, how crazy it was. Oh, wait, what is this? Oi, bro, I got your fish. I got what you wanted. Yeah, but in a real weird way. In a real weird way. Oh, bro. Belly hooked a long time there. That's why I was acting real weird. It felt big at the start. Oh. How crazy is that? Can you imagine if a big GT just came across? Oh, it, I'm, I was imagining that shark's going to come. Oh, yeah. But this is a huge one. This is what you actually wanted. <laughs> yeah. So does that mean you have to get bitten by it? Oh, yeah. I don't know. No, nah, not me. <laughs> Do you want me to land it? Um, I reckon I can pull him up. Oh, yeah. I think. It's one of the biggest I've hooked. Doesn't want to come in yet. What? Look at that thing! <laughs> I can't believe you've hooked it where you've hooked it Oh, one hook. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. Have he's still coming. Watch, watch out his teeth. No, he's good. <laughs> Crazy, bro. That's what I want. <laughs> that is what you wanted. That's a monster. Long time. This is exactly what we wanted Joe to get. <laughs> hey, look at it. How's the teeth? Do I him to buy you? Nah, no, you got to yeah, catch you, it. You've got to get him to buy you. <laughs> Point him at me. Well, this guy is that big. I can probably almost press him on my knee. Woo! All right, we're getting back. They're not the strongest of fish, so I'll get the lure out. All right, you're right, mate. All right, you ready? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. Woo! Long time. Oh, perfect. They love to take their time when you put them back. They sit there for a while on the bottom and then they go. It's good that shark didn't turn up. Yeah, that was sick. Phew. Cheers. Yeah, no lemon shark, eh? Hey? Who have squeezed some lemon on that and eaten it for dinner for sure. <laughs> oh, we should have catch and cook that thing. That was a catch and cook. Oh, damn. I wasn't even thinking about that. All right. All right. Two more casts with the big stick bag. Yeah, we'll go again. Yeah. That was the first time ever using this lure. Prototype colour. Second cast, I think, and we're on, so let's get back out there. Alrighty, it's pretty slow going this afternoon. Not much happening in the waterways, no currents or anything. I'm just up here trying to sight cast. If I see something, I'll cast. Joe's down there, soft plastic lure fishing getting lots of random cool tropical reef fishes so that's cool <laughs> so yeah let's just wait and see if we see something from up here and we're gonna try and hook up big big Well, I'm actually pretty bummed. I was just casting then. I heard a ting, 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 look down into the water, goes a cap on the other side of the handle, gone in the water. Thought about going in, but there's massive lemon sharks swimming back and forth, so, and it's 
basically night night already so I'm not gonna jump in there <laughs> so that's gone maybe tomorrow we can have a look but it'll probably move in these strong currents when they run all night so yeah pretty bummed about that probably gonna head back to camp in a moment joe's over there spinning hopefully get something i want to go back and clean up some of the cooking stuff so we can have a nice dinner tonight and another big sleep for a big day tomorrow that's what i'm thinking what are you thinking i'm gonna leave it for the yeti and the yowie yeti's gonna take this one and the yowie will take that one and they'll be spinning the ledge at night time catching those big black gts that's why we can't catch anything now <laughs> so i'm gonna leave these behind for the yeti and the yowie and we're gonna go back we're gonna make some dinner Ow! let's go over there oh pretty sure there's a yeti over there already ah! just had a camera loss scare fell around my pocket my camera was gone joe spotted it dangling in a bush just there it was almost gone forever we would have lost all this footage from this whole trip so far that would have been very bad all right let's continue back to camp home sweet home gotta love it all good sure. yeah it's not yeah there's a rice or did you actually do it in the no i haven't we haven't even used it oh, all right all right been smashing the rice down to try and break it up big mission time to put in tuna red we'll see in red for a second eh? oh she's burning oh well, we got chili and garlic pesto this one is oh no something a little bit hot yeah Woo. oh it smells really good this one bro I feel like a couple of landing on this. 50-50. Just my fork. Oh, did it. Cheers, bro. No worries. Look at that. That's right. I think, we're, I think that's about equal. It's good, man. All right, taste test time. Okay. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, the garlic and the chili, amazing. Pretty hot. It's spicy. But good, yeah. It'll tickle your bum on the way out tomorrow. Big bum tickle, eh? Well, that's our dinner. See you in bed, mate. Not this bread. This piece is a bit stale. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, another big day. Back in the tent. In Cavi's mansion. About to go to sleep, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. If nothing comes to eat Joe's booby trap bread at the back, we might get eaten. We we'll never know. Never come back. You never know. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully for another epic day of fishing and mountaineering. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys. You.